Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Gracias. Salute. We are about to start. Uh, this is O level computer science double two one zero by Shalal Ashraf. And the topic that we were going to cover today is um, uh, logic gates. It's pretty interesting. And it's, it's really, students really love to solve this. Okay. So, once again, uh, just for the quick note, this is the page. And this is the website that we'll, uh, we will going to use again and again. Um, just let me have a check. Let me uh, include all the other students live so they can ask us questions or uh, they can join in with us. So this is our live channel. We are live here. All right. Just give me one minute, then we will going to start the topic. Okay, logic gates. So this logic gates is just not part of uh, O level computer science or uh, A level computer science. Uh, even when you study physics, uh, you will going, going to find the same logic gates there as well. Uh, so all the basics of logic gates are there. Uh, just for the quick reference, uh, you, you can grab the computer science book right here from this website. O level computers, start with sites.google.com slash site. And you can download it. You can download all the notes, whatever you like. So I will going to use the book and the notes today. Uh, notes are also available on the page, on this very same page. O level computer science with this banner. So you can join in, you can like the page and I'm gonna add you up and you can ask the questions right away. All right, so somebody have just posted this thing, I don't know why, this is stupid. Okay, so the book, this is the book, IGCSC computer science levels by David Watson and Helen Williams. So the basic of logic gates, uh, just before we start, there is no previous knowledge is required or needed to cover up this topic. This is pretty easy. You're going to get each and everything, uh, hopefully, in this lecture, inshallah. Um, so in, in, in introduction, the very first and very important things are the symbols. So these are the symbols. So let's do with the symbols first. We think logic gates look like something this. So these are the six. Uh, if, yeah, there are more symbols and there are more type of logic gates are there. But uh, as um, our uh, for our syllabus concern, we are going to only cover these six types of logic gates. So the very first is known as not gate. Then we have and gate, or gate, NAND, NOR, and XOR. So these are the six type of logic gates that we will going to cover today. Uh, then we will going to open the notes. So in notes, you can also see that these uh, logic gates can be represented as like this, with a circle. <clears throat> and with the name of the logic gate inside, not and or an and and nor. So they can be represented like this with the circle with name in it, or they can also represent with their shapes. These shapes are more uh, popular. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, they, uh, these shapes are also known as uh, mill symbols uh, from military symbols because when, when, for the very first time, when these logic gates were. Uh, uh, like uh, mentioned or introduced 
uh, in the US military and they are going to make the uh, electronic circuits. So they, this is the reason they start going to known as uh, the mill symbols. All right. So now let us see what these gates basically do. What is the behavior of the gates? Okay. So truth tables, before jumping into the truth tables and the shape of the logic gates, um, let me just give you an example. All right. There we go. Okay. Let me get my stylus. Okay. So uh, before jumping into the logic gates, so far we have seen the symbols of the logic gates uh, and how to know the behavior of each and uh, each and every logic gate separately. We need to understand truth table first. So what are the truth tables? Basically, we know that in binary language. In binary, we have only two numbers, 0 and 1. So these are the two numbers only. So, for example, if I want to check the behavior of a one single uh, light LED or, um, or bulb that, uh, that is inside my room and how it works, I'm going to switch it on and I'm going to switch it off. So I'm going to check that if it's working or not. Okay, if off switch is working properly, or if on switch is working properly. So this zero will going to, uh, that can also be known as off. And this one is also referred as on in computer world, in electronic and digital world, not only computer world. This off is also mentioned as low, and this on is also mentioned as high. All right. So for example, uh, there are different kind of logics that we are going to work on uh, more and more um, to check uh, the behavior of uh, any uh, logic gate, that how it behaves. For example, so far we have seen uh, different kind of logic gates, but let's talk about the AND gate only. This is the AND logic gate, all right? So these two symbols here, these two, sorry, lines of this uh, gate are known as input. Let's name those input as A and B. Okay, these are the inputs. So we will going to give some input and then there will be a gate. This gate will going to do something with those two inputs. All right, and then we will going to have an output. Let's name it as X. Okay, so we have two inputs or we have two switches. Just like light switches, okay? And these two switches has only one output. For example, there is only uh, one light bulb attached. All right, I'm just giving you an example. Yeah, even though in practical uh, implementations, things work like this. Okay, so now we have two inputs, A and B. And we want to check that how our logic gate behaves. All right, access the output. So the thing that we used to name is possible number of combinations, basically. How's that? For example, I want to check how this logic gate will going to behave if A is off, my first switch is off, and my second switch is off as well. So what this gate will going to do? And then, for example, if I switch on my first switch A, and I keep my switch B open, let's see what happens then. All right? And then I just want to... Uh, check all the combinations. I just want to make sure how this logic gate actually behaves. So then switch off the A and switch on the B. Let's see what happens then. Okay. And then switch on the A and also switch on the B and let's see what happens then. So with the help of this truth table, which will going to verify the truthness of this gate, then how this gate is actually behaving, we will going to have an answer. So we can know the behavior of this gate. So this AND gate, or also known as the multiplication gate, A dot B, we are going to mention that. Dot basically mean multiplication. 
So this is why this is called as a multiplication gate because A multiply by B zero multiply by zero what it will gonna yield? It will gonna yield zero. zero. Anything multiply by zero is zero. So the second combination one multiply by zero is also zero. And again, zero multiply by one. Anything multiply with one will going to yield zero. So again, A and B. Here, A and B are getting multiplied. Getting multiplied. In computer science, for multiplication, we use static gate. Okay. But this is not necessary. I just uh, put that symbol inside for uh, for the reference, for example. So zero A is A is off. B is on, what happens? Still, light will not going to glow. If it's uh, placed uh, at X, only when switch A is on and B is on, only then one multiply by one. This will only going to yield one. So this is how AND gate will going to behave. So this is the behavior of the AND gate. You can you can get the notes uh, from the uh, from uh, from notes or from the book, anytime it's totally easy. So uh, here they are, the truth tables and the symbols. Okay. So this is the AND gate and its truth table. All right. Then we have OR gate. Let's uh, move to the um, book. Okay, they just have given the NOT gate first. So this is NOT gate. Only NOT gate will going, going to have only one input. Make this sure. All the other gates will at least going to have two number of inputs. At least will going to have two number of inputs. Only the NOT gate will going to have one input. Just like if you look into the symbols again here. Look, all the other gates have two inputs two inputs, two inputs. Only the NOT gate has only one input, all right? Okay, so let's move down. The two tables and the very first symbol. The NOT gate, NOT gate is on, uh, only referred as uh, the inverter, all right? So whatever the input that you will give uh, uh, at the A side here, for example here, it will going to reverse it. In binary, what we have in digital logic, what we have only zeros and ones. So if zero is the input, one will be the output. If one will be the input, zero will be the output. So vice versa. This is the not the negation gate, the inverter gate. Okay, output x is one if the input a is zero, and so on. So you, by, by looking at the truth table, you can just simply know the behavior of the gate. If a is zero x the output is 1 if a the input is 1 x the output is 0 that is not good okay you can uh, this is also important you can also mention uh, x is equal to not a so just leave this thing for the later on uh, negations uh, we're going to cover that up just so far just uh, focus on the truth table the behaviors and symbol of the logic gates the and gate that we have done already the multiplication multiplication gate input and output you can see that all right only we can also uh, define those logic gates as well. For example, I'm, I'm going to define it right now. And gate will only going to give an output one if all the inputs are one. Or you can say that the and gate will only going to uh, produce uh, uh, an output high if all the inputs are high. So if A is one, B is one, then we're going to have an output X as one. All right, are we good? In any other cases, all the outputs will be zero because either of the input is zero. Multiplication, A multiply by B. All right, so we can mention X is the output, A and B are the inputs. All right, just like we have done uh, on the board, A and B is the input, X is the output. So we can here mention as a dot b x is, is equal to a dot b 
A and B both are multiplied. What we get? We get X. Now, the OR gate. OR gate is the addition gate. All right. A plus B. A plus B is, is equal to X. If any of the input is 1, output will be 1. All right. Here we can see that. This is a truth table for the OR gate. A and B are the input. X is the output. A and B is the input. X is the output. So if any, here both of the inputs are zero, so by default both of the switches are off. So what is the output? X is off. Any of the input is one, A and B. All right, now we're checking uh, the logic of the get. If any of the input is one, this is the second combination. This whole two values, A and B, is the second combination. If any of the input is one, Output will be one. Here is one, one. Both are one. That's fine. Output is one. All right. So this is OR gate. We have done with the NOT gate. We have done with the uh, AND gate. More. NAND gate, also known as NOT AND gate. Basically, this is a combination of an AND gate and a NOT gate. All right. And how's that? For example, we have an AND gate. We have two inputs. This is the output. It's A and it's B. All right. We know the truth table. What is the truth table? What will be the truth table for this uh, this gate? What is the symbol? This is an AND gate symbol. How are we going to write down the notion? A dot B dot for multiplication is equal to X. We can either name uh, mention here X or we can also write down A dot B is up to you. All right. So the trick of making combinations quickly, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Every combination is different. Both are off, one is A is off, B is on, A is on, B is off, both are on, okay? So if we have the formula that we're going to use, uh, later on I'm going to tell you about the more things, but just focus on here. This is an AND gate, so we already know it's a multiplication gate. If all of the inputs are 1, only then we're going to have 1, rest on zeros. So what is NAND gate looks like? You can also mention it like this. Put in NOT gate. All right. So, oops, sorry. A and B. So whatever is the output of AND gate, it will simply going to reverse. This NOT gate will going to do what it will going to simply reverse the output of the AND gate all right so we can we can also construct this this and not gate as like this just remove the triangle of the not gate and just put the bubble at the tip of the AND gate and that's that is what this is a symbol of NAND gate and not gate all right we can also represent as like x bar, or uh, we can also represent as a dot b whole bar. This bar is basically whenever we have a not gate. For example, a is the input. The output is known as a bar. Sometimes this bar is also uh, ever as dash as well in some uh, um, different books. All right. So let's talk about this. NAND gate. That's so simple. How the truth table of the NAND gate will look like? Can you guess? Can you guess, guys? Tell me. Answer me. Raise your hands. I can see your hand raised here. Or, uh, uh oh, just a minute. Just let me see. That screen is blurred. 
maybe we are facing some we are facing some upload problems let's let me get over with this hopefully it will be fine now um just give you a minute Let me have a look live now. Here we are. Does anybody has posted some question? No question so far. The screen would be blurred because of uh, they just the YouTube uh, do one good thing that it automatically automatically adjusts the resolution as uh, bandwidth uh, went down at any side. It could be at your side as well. So check just uh, make uh, the resolution up to 250. You can also just like uh, wait for the downloading part as well because I'm just. Um, uh, putting this lecture live so that will be there it will be saved uh, you can download it and see it later on all right so where were we we were discussing about the nand gate let's come back come back okay so we we have done with the and gate we have done with the and gate and what i was saying that you put the not gate after the and gate means that you just reverse the output of the AND gate, you will going to get a NAND gate. So let's see that how it works. One, zero, one, one, zero, one. So for AND gate, zero, zero will be zero, but it will be inverted. So it will become one, zero and one. In AND gate, it's zero. But in NAND means not AND gate, but it will gonna have, uh, it will become it will become one, and one, and zero. Okay? Simply the opposite output of the AND gate. So this is the not AND gate or the NAND gate. All right. So we have done the OR, we have done the AND, we have done the NOT gate. You can simply now. Um, do the not or the nor gate all by yourself you can also uh, guess the symbol because you know the symbol of the or gate so for example this is uh, this is the this is the what happened why just not raising all stuck somewhere you know lag all the things are on the on single router maybe that could be the issue okay so you know the symbol of the or gate that looks like this fish a goldfish maybe this is the symbol of an or gate it has two inputs a b and let's suppose because it's an or gate it's a addition gate we can say that output is a plus b it's the sum of two inputs all right so and this a b is equal to x a b c whatever just like you can name your output as you like uh, i like it uh, as x even cie like it as x so that's a good practice so this is the symbol of uh, or gate and we know that not gate looks like this a bubble with a triangle with an one input so how the nor gate will look like it will look like something like this all right so this is the or, this is the not, and this is the basically not or, or you can name it as nor gate. A and B, A plus B, but this whole A plus B will going to get what? Inversed bar. Okay, or you can also mention it like this, dash. This dash mean output of this whole AB will be negated, will be inverted. 
So you already know the truth table of uh, OR gate. The truth table of the OR gate is I'm just doing this directly now. Um, zero, zero, four. We have to draw, draw some more. Uh, the truth table. So just that get with, with this quickly. A and B. One, two, three, four, because we have only two inputs. Uh, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, four combinations. So what happens for um, A plus B and then A plus B whole bar, right? For our gate, zero, zero will be zero. This will be one because any of the input is one because zero plus one will one, one and one. What happen, uh, What happens in the uh, not OR gate? Simply the opposite output of the OR gate, just like we did in the NAND gate. So this will become like 1, 0, 0, and 0. Are we good? OK. So this is the NOR gate. We have done, we have done the five gates so far. We have done all the five gates in NAND gate. The truth table, right? A dot B whole bar, then a NOR gate, A plus B whole bar, and this is a truth table. You can just look into the book as you like. There we go. And now the last gate. Known as the XOR gate. One more thing, this just look, looks like R gate, but it comes with one more, this curve, which make it X or, and this is the reason, this is an addition, but a an exclusive kind of uh, addition, A plus B, and you just put a circle around uh, the plus sign. So this is known as X or gate. And it is defined as if, all the inputs are same, the output will be zero. Now what this same thing means basically, it's pretty simple. That, we have just one message, just let me check if things are going fine. Thanks God, this gradually becomes clear. These are the kind of problems that we are going to face in uh, uh, in online classes, but these are minor, hopefully, uh, because we can cover uh, cover it up anytime later on. Um, no matter wherever you go, because internet is not 100% secure, no, it's just like there's no authenticity that you will always going to get the perfect uh, services. Because definitely, uh, in real world, things can't be perfect, there could be a big fish in the sea who can bite the fiber optic cable and anything can happen. So, and there are lo lots and lots of devices connected with each other. Uh, even if I'm talking with you right now, um, all my voices and each and every data is going uh, to the Google somewhere in California maybe, and then it's just moving back to some other countries, your countries and the million and million of devices and routers and switches. So anything can happen, but everything is going fine. That's, that's the miracle of science. Thanks God. All right, so we were talking about XOR gate. So XOR gate, the last gate that we were, uh, we were going to do. A and B are the inputs. We are already good with the truth table. We know how to make the truth table. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Basically, first combination, second combination, third combination, and the fourth combination. We know that when we have two switches, when we have two buttons, the possible number of combinations that we can make are four, okay? So how its what, uh, output looks like, if all the inputs are same, if all the inputs are same, mean either they are zeros or either they are ones, output will be zero. Otherwise, output will be one. This is the XOR gate, all right? If the input is zero, zero, then it's zero. If the input is one, one, then output will be zero. Elsewise, I say zero, one, that's one. If it's one, zero, it will be one. Okay, one more thing, if I can, uh, if, uh, I can tell you, 
the truth table can be of uh, three inputs and four inputs and five inputs and uh, like thousands of inputs. I uh, when we talk about processors and chips and all that thing, it's going to have like thousands of inputs. So what happens uh, when we have three number of inputs? Let's talk about truth tables now. Only the truth tables. The same thing, the same formula that we have done in the number system conversion to raise to power n. If I have two inputs, for example, A and B, for example, here in this case, A and B, okay, how many possible number of combinations will be there in the um, truth table? Just put the two here because two is the input. Raise to power two is four. Okay, so. A and B will going to have four number of combinations. How four? Both are off. One is on, and then this is on, and both are on. One, two, three, four combinations. So what will happen if we will going to have three inputs? Two raised to power three will going to have eight combinations. All right. A and B and C, we have three inputs now. So lots of combinations. All the three are off. Okay, one is on. Okay, now this one is on and this one is off. Okay, then these both are on. What happened then, okay? Then let's switch on this one and switch off this both two all right and then do what then switch on this one and switch on this one and keep it off and then switch one this and switch one this and now let's see what happens if we switch off this one all right and let's try switching them all on so you are going to have eight possible number of combinations if, we, if you are going to have three inputs Look, you can see all these combinations are different from others. We just want to verify our circuit. We just want to verify our logic here. Our logic. How our circuit will going to behave if these three switches will be going to operate like in all the different manners. Okay, so this is the reason we call them truth tables. So we have done with the truth tables. We have done with the symbols of the logic here, and we are, we are done with the truth tables of each and every logic it in the syllabus okay so let's get back let's get somewhere else but stay uh, we just will stay in the topic that is the logic game okay? notes 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 we have done with the symbols we have done with the uh, the next thing is the combination of the logic gates. Uh, class, people, uh, I just already, I'm just already just telling you that, hopefully within uh, two and a half lectures, we will going to be done with this whole big topic, the lo logic gates. We are just going to start the very first uh, combination circuit that will going to combine more than one logic gates together and we're we'll, going to see, check the output, how it behaves. Later on, we're going to do all rest of the questions and the past paper questions and then we will be done with this topic hopefully in the next class we can start straight from the combination of the logic gates and some practical type of questions that are given in the paper so let's do the combination of the logic gates um this one has three inputs so let's start with the two input oh these all are three clear ones where are the simpler ones where are they? Okay, there they are. There they are. Okay, they have only two inputs. Um, let's solve this question right there. I will. I need to bring this um, in my note. How I'm going to do that? I don't know where I've saved it. So let's go to the page right there. That is O level computer science. And we can find it 
logic gates anybody can find uh, a topic like this there they are the pdf anybody can get all the notes they're freely available anytime it's all loading it's all loading okay So it's 11.57 p.m. It's Tuesday. It's June 28 here in Pakistan. And there we go. Logic gates. So I'm doing this through my note now. Okay. No. Next, next long. I'm going to do this tomorrow. Today, we're going to do this one. Okay, look, well, this is uh, the very first question, the practice question that we're going to do later on. All the rest of the question will be done by you, and you can ask me, you can post it, uh, even the answers, and uh, ask me for the corrections or check it. So, let's do it. Okay, so, um we have two inputs how we will going to solve this question we have one two three and four gates attached with this one okay this very first gate has two inputs a and b we can see that there is a b it's coming from here and it's getting into this gate and it's getting here okay so this A and B will become what? Can I say that it, it will become A plus B? Yes, I can say that. Okay. What happens there? A is the input, B is the input, and it's an AND gate. It is a multiplication gate. So A is the input, B is the input, and it get and it get multiplied here at this level. Okay. So A plus B here, A dot B here. Okay, now what is the input of this NOT gate? Only this A plus B, this means so whatever is the input of this NOT gate, NOT gate always going to have one input as we can see that. So this A dot B will get negated. It will get inverse like this, okay? That's all. So what is the input of this gate now? The inputs of this gate is this thing and this thing. Okay, so x will be is equal to if I write down the Boolean expression. So it's an or it get added this whole thing. This is the input. This is the input. So a plus b. We are we are also practicing uh, the Boolean expression, so that's good. And a dot b. I hope so. You get it. Also with my physics kind of writing. Um, a plus b bar plus a dot b bar okay so this will be the final product at x now let's how we will going to do that we've done with the expression uh, then let's do with the um do with the two table we have less space but we can manage that a b or two inputs for this whole circuit and let's call this thing as um just don't call it no this will going to get confused be a bit confusing so uh we have less space we have less space so uh, how how can i do that just a minute just let's start doing um this thing here yeah this will going to work. A, B are the inputs. Zero, zero, sorry. And zero, one, one zero and one and one 
so a plus b the output of the very first gate then a dot b the output of the second gate then a plus b bar the third thing and then the last x basically this x is equal to this whole equation okay so we are talking about this a plus b we are talking about only this thing right now outputs are a and b outputs are a and b and they are just getting added here so when you add a and b what happens 0 1 1 and 1 you got it 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 is 1 okay so let's do this thing now a dot b a and b are the inputs and they are getting and a dot is there so a and b a and b they are getting and they are getting multiplied what happens 0 0 is 0 0 1 will be 0 1 0 because 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 and a dot b only 1 dot 1 will become 1 so we are done here now the whole a plus b we are done here with a plus b okay now simply what we need to do we need to inverse it so 0 will become 1 this 1 will become 0 this 1 will become 0 and this 1 will also become 0 so now we are here at this level what is the input of x what is the input of this whole equation what is the input of this whole or gate this and this so now we have solved these two things we have here so this x this or gate will going to have input these two things okay or we are going to do what it will be going to add things up so 0 1 will be 1 0 0 will be 0 0 0 will be 0 and 1 0 will be 1 so 1 0 0 1 will be the answer of this first question please when you do in your notebooks do it uh, in a very fair manner because i'm just using the stylus and then i'm using a small uh, note uh, cell phone screen so it's a bit uh, not tiddy work i hope so that it's it's, it's understandable so class, this is about the logic gates today. So far, later on, we will going to do um, the rest of these things. Uh, these topics should be done by you. The question number two, question number three, that's pretty easy. We have done question number one, okay? Uh, you can move back to the um, video and you can just watch it again and just like do it, so, solve it. You can try solving these circuits with uh, three inputs, A, B, C, but if you can't, that's really okay. We're going to do this in very next class. And then after doing those questions, we're going to move to this part. This is really not difficult. That's pretty easy. This is also log logic gates, even though it's, there are lots of statements there. Uh, we'll have to make the logic gates out of these statements, and then we have to uh, make the truth tables all in all, all right? So this is about the logic gates and notes are there. Uh, book is there. Uh, do a little bit homework and come back tomorrow for uh, the second class of the logic gates. Uh, have a good time. Thank you very much. And do give me a feedback. I'll appreciate that. Bye-bye.